Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we've got a problem from the Stanford Maths competition, and it's a very short problem, um, but a very interesting one. Uh, we want to solve this equation for x, given that x is a positive integer. And so we're told that x to the power of 23 equals this massive number here. Now the thing is, we do not have a calculator, so we cannot just take the 23rd root on both sides. If you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, and I'm going to dive straight into a solution. So first things first, how many digits does this number have? I'm going to save you the trouble of counting. It's 20. So what does this tell us about x? This means that x must be less than 10. Why is that? Well, 10 to the power of 23, and that's just 1 followed by a bunch of zeros. How many zeros? Well, it's going to be 23 of them. And so this will be a 24 digit altogether. And so this number here is clearly less than that. And so x must be less than 10. Also, we know that from the last digit here, that's a 3, uh, which is an odd number, so x itself must be odd, because if x was even, this whole number here would be even. So that means that we've narrowed down x to either 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. Now, it's definitely not 1, because 1 to the 23 is 1. And it's also not 5, because 5 to the 23, well, that would end in 5, because it's a multiple of 5. and Well, it would end in a 5 or a 0, because it's a multiple of a 5, so uh, it's definitely not that. So it's either 3, 7, or 9. And now there's two ways we could finish this problem off. We could either do this via modular arithmetic and consider this mod 3, mod 7, mod 9, um, and, and see whether this, this equation is true or not. Um, but a nicer way to do it, which if you've not seen modular arithmetic before, we can use a trick which is a bit more simple, which just says a number is a multiple of 3 only if it's the sum of its digits is a multiple of 3. So I want to know, is this number here a multiple of 3? And in order to do that, I'm just going to add up the, the digits in this number and so on and again I'm going to save you the hassle of doing that if you add up these numbers 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 6 plus blah 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 all the way up to 3 plus 4 plus 3 you get 85 and now 85 is a much smaller number and we know that this number here is not a multiple of 3 multiple of 3 and so therefore that means that this number here is not a multiple of 3 and so that means that x cannot be a multiple of 3. So x is neither 3 nor is it 9, because 9, of course, is a multiple of 3. So by process of elimination, since we know that x has to be a positive integer, x must be 7. And that solves our problem. A really cool problem, I think, a nice quick one with a nice solution. Really intimidating problem. If you're not really sure where to start here, here are some tricks. So narrow down what x is and then just kind of eliminate some possibilities. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.